Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are diving deep into the riveting history of Argentine politics, focusing on a man who left an indelible mark, not only on Argentina, but also on the entire South American continent. His name is Juan Domingo Perón. He was an influential figure who significantly shaped the political landscape of Argentina through his populist policies and focus on social justice. Whether you're a history enthusiast or just a curious soul looking to understand global politics, this video will provide an insightful journey into Perón's life and his lasting impact. So sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get started. Juan Domingo Perón was an Argentine military officer and politician who was instrumental in shaping the modern political landscape of Argentina. His enduring influence comes from his role as the president of Argentina, a position he held for three non-consecutive terms between 1946 and 1974. Perón was born on October 8, 1895 in Lobos, Argentina, to working-class parents. Following in his father's footsteps, he embarked on a military career attending the National Military College in Buenos Aires and rising through the ranks to become a lieutenant colonel by 1930. He developed an interest in politics during his military service, which was further cultivated when he was sent to Europe in 1938 as a military observer. Perón's political life began in earnest following his return to Argentina. In 1943, he played a significant role in military coup that overthrew President Ramón Castillo, after which he was appointed Secretary of Labor and Social Welfare. Perón was highly influential in this position, implementing policies that favored the working class and gained him significant popularity among the trade unions, which formed the backbone of his political power. In 1946, Perón was elected president, with a platform built on social justice, economic independence, and political sovereignty. Under his leadership, the Argentine state took a more active role in the economy, nationalizing key industries and implementing social welfare programs. His wife, Eva Perón, also played a pivotal role during this period, becoming a beloved figure for her work with the poor and helping to rally support for Perón's policies. Perón was re-elected in 1951, but was overthrown by a military coup in 1955 in what is known as the Revolution Libertadora. He went into exile, spending most of his time in Spain. Despite this, his influence continued to shape Argentine politics, with his followers, known as Peronistas, remaining a powerful political force. Perón returned to Argentina in 1973 after 18 years in exile, buoyed by the enduring popularity of his social and economic policies. He was elected president for a third term, but served only a year before his death on July 1, 1974. His third wife, Isabel Perón, succeeded him, becoming the first female president of Argentina. Perón's legacy is complex and continues to shape Argentine politics to this day. His policies, which sought to balance the interests of labor industry and the state, form the basis of the Peronist political movement. He is remembered as a champion of the working class and a key figure in the development of Argentine nationalism. Yet, he is also criticized for his authoritarian tendencies and for the economic instability that marked the latter part of his presidency. Thanks so much for watching our video about Juan Domingo Perón. His legacy certainly raises complex debates, and we hope that this overview gave you some insight into the life of this remarkable figure. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content about influential personalities from around the world. And as always, we welcome your thoughts and reflections in the comments section below. In the end, it's through our collective discussions and engagements that we can truly appreciate the nuances of history. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.